Amprobotics is an artificial intelligence and robotics company founded by Matanya Horowitz. We're working to increase recycling rates and lower the cost of sorting to economically recover more recyclables for the supply chain. Artificial intelligence is our enabling technology here at AMP, and when we integrate that with robotics um, to create this really cutting-edge application for an industry that isn't known for innovation like recycling, this opens up just so much potential for the impact that we can make on a massively challenged industry like recycling. Robotics provides a really visceral way to interact with software. The ability to write code and then see it physically manifest in the world is just very powerful and very fun. I'm extremely proud that we found a way to apply a cutting edge technology like neural networks to a problem like sorting recycling and make real world positive impact. A job like Carter's is so important because he's leading a team that is translating ideas to plans to execution that's ultimately going to have a massive impact on the world. The job is really dynamic. Software comes with a, a whole set of challenges, and I'm frequently going to sites, going to field, touring factories, trying to figure out you know, what is wrong in a given circumstance and fix it, and also meeting with employees to discuss you know, their, their personal issues and development uh, with their work. I learned software in high school. After high school, I decided to get a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. Robotics is an interdisciplinary field, and having an interdisciplinary background helps a lot. So intentionally chose mechanical engineering, um, and it worked out pretty well. My biggest advice for someone joining robotics is to start early. Do hobby projects, build example robots, just get hands-on with hardware as soon as you can. The biggest thing we look for in potential candidates is their portfolio of things that they've worked on. They can get that through work experience, but also some of our best people come from hobby experience with robotics. At a company like AMP, we have so many different skill sets and uh, types of roles. And what's really cool about that, in addition to the diversity it brings to the company, is that we need that in order to build the robots and, and meet the demand for this technology. My job is to make sure that the team has what they need, making sure the assemblies are running smoothly, that we aren't out of product, and that the team is building the assemblies safely and to the drawing specs. I had no previous knowledge of manufacturing. I was deliberately hired as a blank slate. Before I worked at AMP, I was a cake decorator and a baker. You do not need a college degree in order to have the position that I have. A lot of it is hands-on learning. The transferable skills that I brought with me from cake decorating to assembling robots is it is still an assembly process, but the tooling changed. Maria leads a team of assembly technicians who are putting together the robots with our software and the other applications that actually create the robots. So it's a critical role in terms of um, helping us maintain the pace of installations and fulfilling demand for this really critical technology. In the last few years, Amp Robotics has grown exponentially. I started out on the team of 30 people and we were building maybe one robot a week we are now almost 200 people strong. And we went from one robot to three robots, now from three robots to seven robots a week. What makes Amp Robotics a green company is that we are working to increase recycling rates and ensure that more recyclables are actually recovered and diverted from landfill. The industry has long struggled with labor and staffing because these are such difficult jobs in manual sortation. AI and automation brings a level of stabilization to material recovery facilities that allows them to run fully staffed to ensure that they are recycling as much material as possible. We have a direct key performance indicator that we look at, which is amount of material that gets recycled. When we push software updates, we can directly measure how much more our robots harvest or how much more facilities process. That gives you a way to directly measure your environmental impact for your job, and, and that's pretty amazing. We're told, recycle, help protect the earth, but when you actually get to see it firsthand, that's something different. You don't think about what happens to that soda can when you throw it in the recycling bin. We actually save that material and reuse it instead of it just going into a landfill and poisoning the earth. It makes me excited to come to work knowing that we're making the world green, especially as a parent, I want to leave a better world for my son.